finding slash step it out. Okay, let's take a look at the check understanding. You can find this on the bottom of page 296. They're giving us two problems here, and they're word problems, and they didn't set anything up for you, so you're going to have to do it yourself. So it might be helpful that note sheet that we got that you look to see the wording that I gave you if you're having trouble figuring out if the word stands for what operation the word stands for, if it's multiplication, division, addition, or subtraction. So the perimeter of a square is 60 inches. Remember when I'm finding perimeter of something, I'm adding up all the sides. But in the case of the square, all the sides are the same length. So keep that in mind there. We're going to write an equation and solve it. So all, if I have a square, we're going to imagine that that's a beautiful square. I guess I could do this. Instead. Let me find a square over here. That would be better. Okay. So I have a square. All, don't pay attention to my ugly square right there. All four sides are the same. So there's one, two, three, four. So I'm going to take four. S equals 68. I did S for sides. It does not really matter which variable you choose, just be comfortable with the variable that you chose. I put a four in front of it though, because there's one, two, three, four sides of a square. So the opposite of multiplying by four is dividing by four. It goes away there. I'm going to divide by four on this side. So the sides equal 60 divided by four which is 17 inches. So each little side length of the square is 17 inches. So 17, 17, 17, 17. I add those all together, I should get 68. And number two, Kamal makes $12 an hour at his job. Last week he earned $390. Write and solve an equation to determine how many hours Kamal worked last week. So he gets a total of 390. He gets $12 an hour. So we're trying to figure 12 times how many hours equals 390. So I'm going to do H for hours. The opposite of multiplying by 12 is dividing by 12. 390 divided by 12 is 32.5 hours. Last week, that's how long he worked.